Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. A wonderful, wonderful spot. Lot of big sheep grazing out on top of this mountain. Lots of people hanging out over here as well, flying their uh, hawk, well it's not, a, I was going to say flying their drone, or it wouldn't even be a drone, it'd be a remote control plane, but that's just a bird. Uh, what do we got? We've got uh, this bit puzzled as to what this is. Kind of looks like a ski hill, but maybe not. Maybe it's just a mountain bike one. A uh, mountain bike hill. I don't know. There's no chairlift. So that's what confuses me as to what kind of uh, place this is. But it is interesting looking nonetheless. You got this weird looking cloud here. And this. I'm not sure this actually means anything. Maybe it's like a flag, but I don't know what it would be a flag of. Where are we? Big mountains, this kind of weather, very beautiful. I don't know. I do not know. It is very hard to tell. You can look over here. Maybe you think this is European. Could this be European? It definitely could be. But it's not like uh, the mountains in Europe like this. I think they're a bit colder looking. Maybe not. Maybe they get this big. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe New Zealand. Sure, why don't we do that? There you go. Let's go. Let's go these mountains around down here, like right around there. Let's make the guess, and the answer was no. It was Europe. Mm, I knew I was. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about those mountains, the Pyrenees. Of course, those mountains. I was thinking of these ones. Thinking ah, this doesn't look like the Alps, but of course it looks like uh, the Pyrenees. Uh, we were right over there. Oh man, I should have. I totally forgot about these. That's too bad. Uh, well, we were in southern France. Hopefully, some of you guys figured that one out. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge location. A very, very cool spot. Check this out. Beautiful sun, awesome waterfall, big old reservoir full of water. We got big rocks, big trees. Oh, someone's pants are here. A hammock, a bike, and actually two bikes it looks like. And everything that you need for an awesome day out camping or, you know, out by the water. This is... This is like the kind of place that uh, that people uh, dream about going. Well, not really dream about going to, but uh, this is the kind of place. My God, if this is uh, if this is far off the road, hard place to get to, quite secluded. My God, would it ever be cool to go here? There's even you know, running stream, which is great because that means you can collect water uh, and it likely won't be uh, that polluted. I, mean, I still recommend boiling it, but. Um, you know, uh, bacteria and all that stuff don't uh, don't usually live uh, in running water, which is at least good. Now, this is today's daily challenge, meaning it's up to you guys. Tell me where in the world you think we are. All you need to do is put your guesses down in the comment section below. Tell me where in the world you think this is. In tomorrow's video's comment section, I announce the winner, the person that guesses closest. Now, there are no prizes, but there is glory to be won. So if you are interested in becoming today's top geo guesser, make sure you tell me where in the world do you think we are right now. All right, here we are in the main section of today's video, and today we have got a viewer challenge, a very special viewer challenge by our good friend NYO117, that is right, NYO117, and this challenge has a very special theme. It is to mark the one-year anniversary of the first challenge that NYO117 sent in. Now, NYO has sent in a bunch of challenges. Many a time we have seen uh, that a whole lot. So we're going to be uh, we're going to be reminiscing about places ba that uh, we've seen before. Because the theme is nostalgia. Now, all these places are close to locations from NYO117's first two challenges. Now, thankfully, I do not remember that. Now, the anniversary was March 19th, but. Our friend here forgot to send it in on the correct day, somewhere around March 30th is when they sent it in. And I unfortunately forgot as well to do the challenge on that day. So now here I am reminded uh, a little while later. So hopefully uh, you guys are excited for this. My God, it's been a long time. I believe NYO117 was one of the first people to send in... Uh, to send in a viewer challenge, uh, you know, close to the first one. I didn't start doing regularly uh, right off the bat. I think the first person to send me in was maybe Snufkin, I believe, was the first person to send one in. 
Uh, but I might be mistaken about that. Uh, yeah, I think I think that is right. Uh, so, uh, my God, it's been a long time. This series has been going on for super long. And it's going to go on forever. My God, like 450 episodes pretty much. Thank you so much, NYO117, for this one. If you're interested in creating your own custom challenge, all you need to do is look down in the old description below. Find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge. Also, you can find a link to this one so you can play along yourselves. Let's do it. Boom. Challenge accepted. So we find ourselves in... Wow, look at this. This is very cool. Now, apparently the first one is very close to where the original location is. And just by, like, judging what this looks like, this looks like... I'm not gonna do that the same mistake two days in a row, although I'm not sure it was yesterday that I made the mistake uh, of um, not knowing what the, uh, the, the Pyrenees looked like. And this... I believe is that specifically I believe we are in Andorra and we're in Andorra well I mean I kind of gotta go I don't know if I need to do that if I need to guess that I I have no idea that's what I'm guessing this is it seems to make the most sense uh, I don't know what an Andorran flag looks like so that's not gonna help me very much but you know it, this this has this has that look Let's go down the road and see if we can find um, anything that uh, that indicates to us where we are specifically. Because again, I, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not really sure exactly where we are. Not sure the name of of the city. Every oh, look at this. Everyone in Andorra is very nice. Look at that. They're they're waving their hands, saying hello to the Google truck. Just excited to see it. All right. So this now. Is there a picture here? Okay, so this is what it looks like. So this place is called San Marino. Really? San Marino. Isn't that isn't that this one over here? Oh god, San Yeah. Oh, we're in San Marino? Really? I would not have guessed that. Okay. So we are around over here. My God, San Marino! I was so convinced it was Andorra. Well, look at me, silly me. Totally forgot that uh, San Marino was the first one. And we're gonna be somewhere up here. So we're gonna say, we're gonna say right up there. I think that's a good idea. Let's make the guess. And the answer was uh, relatively close, just a um, just a few dozen points off, right around. Here, well, actually, literally uh, 13 points off. Right there is where we actually were. Okay. Now, we are oh, somewhere very interesting. And So, what do we got here? We've got Chinese, by the looks of it. So, Chinese, that can mean a few things. It could, of course, mean Taiwan. Could, of course, that is Chinese, right? I'm not making a crazy, no, that's Chinese. And it looks like, um, I mean, it doesn't look like Japanese. It, to me, looks like it's going to be, um, it's going to be, you know, traditional Chinese. So Taiwan definitely seems right. There's a chance we could be in, does, I uh, know, I believe it's, uh, do, do you simplified in Hong Kong and or Macau? Not sure. Not sure. But there's a lot of things we can do because we, we there's a few things, a few places we could be. All right. If we're Maca if we're in Macau, we want to travel south. In fact, if we're in almost any, if we're in Hong Kong or Macau, we want to travel south. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find a road. That we can go down and travel south. And if we do that, then we should... Bank of China... Uh, I got a feeling we're not in Taiwan then. Uh, do we... Okay, do we have any other language uh, on there? Well, other language that we've got is... Well, I don't see any Portuguese. So, well, there could be. I'm not paying that much attention. Mostly because I want to hit... A, a bigger road and then I want to try going south so I need to to hit like a big street all right what does this say something international travel agency okay bring us down this way like this 
Come on, what am I what am I missing here? What aren't I getting to get out of here? Now, the odds that we are in 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 China proper are well, very low. Oh, look at this. Look at that. That's what I was looking for, a clue. The answer seems to be Macau is where we are. Macau, sometimes tricky to tell, especially in these parts, not nearly as grand and opulent as uh, some of the other parts. You know, this is, I'm assuming this is not uh, as touristy as uh, as back over um, back over in uh, in the regular uh, area, you know, where you would go if you were a tourist or if you were well, if you're a tourist, I guess is is pretty much the description of that entirely. So now I'm fairly certain that I know at least what city we're in. We can go look over here and all right, by the water, which is which is good to see. This is looking right. We just go this way. Now we're heading into... Now we've got a lot more stuff going on over here. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Now we're hitting up some uh, some real some real things. It's looking like we found our way uh, back, to, uh, back to reality. I am almost convinced this is Macau. Uh, but we are actually making our way uh, back to where we were the other day. Uh, to the MGM because I would recognize it. I mean, it's not like, you know, this is, you know, pretty conclusive. So we do know we are definitely in Macau. Uh, there's the very remarkable, uh, is it called like the Lisboa or something like that? That's the name of that hotel. It's, uh, you know, very famous, uh, probably the most, most famous, uh, looking hotel in, in all of Macau. This one over here. Uh, apparently, you know, it's um, it's 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 showing its age these days, uh, just like uh, oh, there you go. That's where we were uh, the other day. There's the win. There's uh, oh no, this is Casino Lisboa. I thought I thought that was oh no, that is as well. Okay, this I have no idea what that is. Is is this is mm, I don't know. I might know the name of of this. I don't know. I don't. I don't know the name of. I don't know the name of all the casinos uh, by far. So uh, there you go. But I've. I've. I've checked them. I, I've. I've checked them out before. Um, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff indeed. So there you go. Middle of Macau. Uh, you know that's obviously where we are. Very cool. So let's go all the way to here. We were definitely. You know, somewhere, somewhere, you know, crowded streets. Oh, yeah, right around in this area over here. Very hard to get around. Right there. Let's make that. And the answer was, oh, well, only about uh, 30, 30 points away. Right here on this roundabout is actually the answer. 64, 44. And now, island. Not very much stuff. Wow. It's not really an island. But there's one thing I know about NYO117 is that they are Dutch. So, I believe uh, this is going to be maybe over here in this country, a country that uh, I... Suriname is the name that I've given this country. I've been told that... I, I, I mean, I think I've been told that that's close, but... I am not certain. We could also be in Guyana. I'm thinking we're in one of those countries. I'm going to go with Suriname. Not convinced that's actually where we are, uh, but it is what I'm going to guess. What we've got here, I, I don't think we're not going to be in this city. Is there anywhere? This is going to be the open ocean. Is there anywhere on the coast here of this country that has another visible city? Not even, eh? Wow, there's like... Okay, what about this? Is there a river or something around here? No? Is there? there there's no way there's only two cities in this country. I'm not going to believe that. But by the looks of it, my god. You can't, can't see a single thing. There's no one live on the coast. Oh, hold on. What about this one? Sure. Let's let's go with that one. Even though I'm not really convinced about this airport. Maybe it's, maybe it's behind the hill. 
So we're going to say we're right over here. I think that is going to be good. We're in Totnes. And the answer was no, not at all. Completely misread it. We are over here in Papua New Guinea near uh, Port Moresby. Completely misread that situation. Probably should have remembered. Hey, come on, Aether here. Got to look at the direction. I forgot to look at the compass. My own fault. I might have been able to rule out that entire area had I have done that. 33 points. I just remember, I think I think we've been put there in one of the first challenges. Oh, that's too bad. All right, where are we now? We are going to be in... Interesting. I don't know what to make of that flag. I don't know what to make of that flag. But... That's, I feel like I should be able to make something out of that flag. This flag right here. It's, it's an important one. It looks like it. Well, okay. But I don't know what flag that is. It is a flag of... Of a hmm interesting interesting indeed okay well let's go let's get let's get out of here all right all right why should oh hold on if I go to zero I haven't seen that in a while if I go to zero I can see the language and I can go out here is this going to be Andorra? Is that why I'm recognizing the flag so much? Maybe. Or maybe this is going to be... Uh, I mean, Andorra is a possibility. Hmm. What else is a possibility? There is... I don't really know what Liechtenstein looks like. But I don't think that's going to be this. I think I think Andorra is a pretty good guess unless it's something else. I think it's going to be another, you know, small small uh small okay. Huh, look at this. This is an interesting language. That doesn't look like Spanish. It looks like a strange Strange mix between Spanish and French. I'm going to go with Andorra because of that. I feel like that being the Andorran flag actually makes a lot of sense. So we're going to be up here. We're going to say this city. And we're going to go uh, right around right around here. This thing. Uh, really? Am I going to go with that? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Something. Uh, let's go like right here. I'm not really going to look for something specific. And the answer was yes. That is indeed where we were. Ah, okay. 64. 38 very nice we were specifically i wouldn't have guessed that specifically so that's good and finally we are in coffee shop paradise well you know i i've got to guess that we are in dubai lounge i gotta guess that we are in amsterdam don't i i mean i might as well at this point coffee shop that sounds about right to me uh, the Netherlands, known for all being one of the many countries with yellow license plates. Well, actually not many, but uh, France and England, or oh, the UK, also use yellow uh, EU license plates. Got a windmill over here. That seems to make uh, perfect sense. Uh, coffee shop. I don't. I think coffee shop is a specifically Amsterdam thing. I I don't know if. The, the whole coffee shop thing is a non-Amsterdam uh, is a non-Amsterdam thing. I mean, the the marijuana is more legal in many American states now than it is in the Netherlands, which is almost mind-boggling. I mean, that's crazy. That is. That, I mean, it's great. Great for America. Think about it. It's, it's, it's insane to me that weed is legal in Washington and Oregon, but not in British Columbia. I mean, that just, that just makes no sense, you know. 
elections coming soon in Canada. And if Canada votes uh, liberal, then there is a good chance that uh, we're going to see a lot of things uh, changing. The thing about Canada is provinces don't have the same kind of powers that states have. I mean, this is a great thing about America is states have real power. States can actually make laws that actually affect people in real meaningful ways. States have power. Where in Canada, provinces only have power over things that almost don't really matter to people. They, I, I don't know, I don't know what what kind of law a province can really enact. I mean, they can enact yeah, like drinking laws and and that kind of thing. But you know, provinces don't have the same kind of power that states do, and. You know, states offered much more local representation than just uh, than just uh, you know the federal government, which in Canada seems to be like they do. I mean, I don't know what the Ontario government really does. Does the Ontario government do that much for me? I don't know. Seems like I mean they do a little bit, I guess. You know, I guess drinking laws are really a you know a provincial thing, and I guess education is uh, it's provincial, and I guess healthcare is in a way provincial. Okay, I guess a lot of things. Um, but I don't know. It just feels, it just feels like the provinces don't have the same kind of powers that American states do, which is fantastic for America because, you know, I mean, it could also be bad. You know, if you live in a state where, um, your opinions are not reflected by the majority, uh, the state has the power to do some stuff that can be really bad for you. You can see a lot of states making big decisions that you, you wouldn't i don't know if it would i don't know if it'd fly in canada i don't know if a, a province could make any kind of these crazy changes but in some ways it's good so i mean it's good and bad good and bad uh, it's just it's just mind-boggling now that how many american states have legalized marijuana like five five or something no canada no it's still illegal everywhere even in somewhere that you would think you know i mean you know uh, BC is always, I mean, Vancouver specifically, always been known as like uh, a place where people smoke a lot of weed, but uh, it's not legal, not not at all legal, tolerated. I think it's been you know largely decriminalized, and it 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 pretty much has been. But I don't think it's. Uh, I mean, it it might be sort of kind of decriminalized, but not even so. You know, there's a lot of things when you live in a world where weed is more legal in many american states than it is in every european country including the netherlands because i think there are actually rather harsh sort of uh laws but maybe it's just in amsterdam maybe the rest of the netherlands it's a lot more free but i know that in amsterdam you know quite uh, there's quite a lot of restrictions that i don't know if places like colorado washington or oregon have I mean viewers from these places uh you know inform us and uh again i'm really gonna i'm not really uh, going to get, I mean, I guess I pretty much said my opinions. Yeah, I think, I think weed should be actually completely legal. Recreational use. I, uh, sure, government oversight. Yeah, sure. That's fine with that. I mean, if, I don't want, I don't want any kind of, you know, money being into, you know, in, into gangs and stuff like that. So sure, you know, have the government regulated, have, you know, all the laws protecting stuff like that. But like, you know, it doesn't matter. It's not going to affect me. I, I've, I don't, I don't smoke weed and I actually never have, but it, I, it's just, it's, it's insane. It is insane in many ways. So that's, that's my opinion. Again, man, think about it. A little while ago, there was an episode. I was like, oh, I don't want to get political. I don't want to get political and stuff like that. But you know what? I think I've learned from that experience. It's, it's not, it's not interesting when someone's just holding back, saying, you know, saying nothing, dancing around, whatever. I mean, this isn't like a politics issue. Seriously, I'm not the kind of person who, you know, you should be watching for any kind of insight into politics or whatever. I'm not a primary source. My opinion on the matter doesn't really matter. You know, what I'm saying is essentially just equivalent to garbage. You don't need to listen to it because I don't have any kind of real information that actually matters to someone so i would suggest you know i'm not a news source but i got opinions and you know i might as well i might as well say them look if you're the kind of person who wants uh who doesn't think we should be legal recreationally absolutely i think there's a decent argument to be made there and that's totally a respectable position if you think we shouldn't be legal medically whew, I don't know. I mean, 
you know, a pit can be really abused, and, you know, a lot of people should say the places that have, you know, medical marijuana have been abused, uh, you know, people getting uh, the ability to get weed when there's no medical need for it, you can say, oh, okay, well, there you go. There's an argument to be made there. Believing that marijuana should be criminalized, possession should be criminalized, I straight up think you're wrong about that. Uh, you know, that that's that you're if you believe that possession should be you're straight up wrong on that one. But I don't think many people, especially people uh, who watch YouTube videos in that age, uh, have that belief. I don't think too many people uh, share that same belief. You know, let people do whatever they want. People don't affect you. And uh, yeah, I know I'm not going to get into the whole sort of gangs and, you know, where does that money go? Because I don't know enough about that to actually form an opinion there. So there you go. Amsterdam. Wow. Ended up weird. Also, we weren't even in Amsterdam. So I guess what we've learned is, um, well, the whole coffee shop thing is the same coffee shop thing, that the Amsterdam coffee shop uh, thing. Then I guess, uh, you know, there is marijuana in the Netherlands outside of Amsterdam, which is actually something that I didn't know. Maybe the uh, more stringent laws are specifically just an Amsterdam thing. That's very possible. Maybe uh, it is not. NYO17, if you can chip in, tell us uh, tell us a little bit about uh, a little bit about it. Tell us, coffee shop was that a real coffee shop? Literally just selling coffee. You know, I mean, it seems weird for it to just be one word, coffee shop as one word. That seems strange. You mean feel like, you know, use cafe or, you know, I'm sure there's a Dutch word for coffee shop, meaning like actually a place to drink coffee. Just it written coffee shop in a single word? It doesn't seem likely, but uh, inform me. Have I spent too much time talking about weed as a completely ignorant person? Because shit, I mean, I haven't even fucking smoked it. So, I don't know. This is, uh, this has been about, like, five minutes of absolute nonsense coming out of my mouth. I've just spoken about nothing for a little while. 44, 29. Wow. Wild. There you go. Let's find out what the score is. 23, 8, 10. We messed up on one, that is for sure. We started off over here. It wasn't Indora, sadly. San Marino. Then we went off to the one, the only, Macau. Very cool. Visited cool casinos and stuff like that. Actually, we didn't. We ended up getting there because that's really the confirmation to tell me that it was Macau. Actually, the Portuguese, that was the confirmation. But um, uh, we saw the Macau that uh, tourists likely wouldn't see. Then we went over to Papua New Guinea. Very cool. I didn't guess that one right. That one, I guessed it was Suriname. Damn me then went to Andorra. All right, almost guessed Andorra on the first one, uh, but this one seemed a lot more likely. That flag I was struggling with for a long time, Andorran flag. It's a really cool flag. Uh, you know, I like flags that have uh, stuff going on with it. And then we were not in Amsterdam uh, because we saw what is a coffee shop that might be literally a shop that sells coffee, but it got me on a long tangent about uh, the legalization of marijuana and uh, the, you know, how America, oddly enough, to a lot of people, um, is a pioneer in the legalization of marijuana in the world. Just go look at the Wikipedia map of countries that have, uh, that have uh, marijuana legalized, and you will see that if you, instead of counting countries, count American states as countries, the answer is... Uh, America is like 80% of places that marijuana is legal. And that is something that one wouldn't think would be the case. But uh, here we are. And uh, Canada, well, you know, one day. One day. Uh, and uh, there we got into a big, uh, big speech just because of that. But as it turns out, we weren't even in Amsterdam. We were in Leiden? 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 I don't, uh, I don't know. I mean, it didn't really look like Amsterdam, if I'm going to be honest. Again, coffee shop. That is the only thing that uh, that spurred on that whole weird conversation. If you did not like that kind of conversation, I am very sorry. Again, most episodes do not contain any political talk uh, at all. But uh, I've learned from previous episodes that, uh, as it turns out, holding back on 
political talk, also political talk that doesn't really matter. Like, I'm not gonna sta start stating my opinions on real political issues. We can zoom out, zoom out on the globe, and I can pretty much draw a big circle around this entire area and say that a lot of political issues are happening there, and none of them I will give my opinion on, because those things matter. Those things are real things that matter. Legalization of marijuana in the grand scheme of things. It's not a real issue, so I'll just talk about it. There you go. Um, also, you know, all a lot of issues around the entire world are places that uh, I'm not going to talk about because I won't get into politics other than maybe perhaps Canadian politics because uh, then it actually affects me, so maybe my opinions do matter. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh, yeah. Have a good one.